define what aesthetic nursing yeah. truly is, like what you are as a nurse allowed to do and yeah. just kind of the structure of that. Because you, you did mention that you work under the supervision yeah. of a physician. Yes. Um, so, you know, let's kind of talk about that because I'm sure people are listening have no idea what yeah. we're even talking about. <laughs> yeah. And so... Yeah. So aesthetic nursing it includes anything injectable, anything with needles, medications, things like that. It's totally separate from estheticians. I think a lot of times people that are outside of the medical field will ask, are you an esthetician? And I'm like, no, that's not. <laughs> so it still is a gray new area. It's like, no, no I'm not. I love estheticians, but it's totally different. And so in the United States, you have to be a registered nurse to inject and, and anything aesthetics. Um, it's different in some other countries, I know, and I know they're making changes to that because I feel like it's the Wild West in some other countries. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so here I legally operate alongside under the supervision of a medical director and also in, in addition to NPs and PAs who help provide my good faith exam. So that's um, we're in accordance with California medical clearance and all those things. And so... And with that and with that prescription guidance, I'm able to operate kind of in an autonomous setting with my patients. Yeah, that's I, I just think that's so incredible because a little bit of my background, I worked in a plastic surgery clinic before started, I started traveling uh, back in Pennsylvania. And at that point, n nurses were not allowed to do that. Wow. Um, yeah. yeah. It was and, well, it's also different every state. Every yeah. state's different, which is. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know like where Pennsylvania is yeah. now, but at that time. So coming to California, yeah. meeting Laura, then yeah. knowing that she did your, like her injections, I'm like, yes. wait a second. Like, <laughs> mind blown moment. Like, what is this? So it's, you know, it's just extremely interesting to me, yes. I guess, to say, yeah. to say the least, just it is. And, and a huge pivot in mentality too, because I was told for so long working in a plastic surgery office, oh no, this is only physicians and PAs. So then being, yeah. so then being like, wait, I, c I could personally yeah. be doing this. I think it, I just yeah. think that that's really, really it's amazing. And with nursing, you've been through, I, we're, roughly the same age. <laughs> we yes. roughly have the same amount of nursing experience yeah. and we entered into this around the same time. So we've seen the changes yes. and it's over a short amount of time, in mm -hmm. my opinion, the, mm -hmm. the changes that have happened in healthcare, especially with nurses. So we're seeing burnouts, we're seeing frustration and just never in my life did I think as a nurse, there's the potential to have a business mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. to work mm -hmm. independently. Granted, yes, yes, you are still being yes. supervised. You have yes. a physician prescribing. You're not yes. working out of what is legally your scope of practice, but Correct. you have those relationships and that independence and a beautiful studio that yeah. with three patient rooms. I just think that that's <laughs> so incredible and eye-opening and motivating to nurses who potentially could be feeling stuck in what we do, you know, and just having, that's why I was really, really, really excited when I got this opportunity to do this podcast. You were one of the first Thanks. people I thought of. Because <laughs> you've, yeah, I mean, one, I love you, but like <laughs> on the other too. side of that, you've hustled as like a, like in sales, in business owning and in your medical profession. You know, I just mm -hmm. think it's pretty incredible what we can do as nurses and this is such hopefully an eye-opening experience for the listeners.